Hey, I'm back. In this video, we're gonna talk about mycotoxins in joint pain. So what are mycotoxins? Basically, they're poisons released from mold or fungus, okay? There's about 300 different types, but only about 30 are truly poisonous. And what they do is they inactivate the white blood cell. They make your white blood cells, your immune system, go to sleep. They do create a lot of problems, though. They create fatigue, weakness, chronic sinus issues, cognitive problems, stiffness, joint pain, all sorts of arthritic type pain, uh, skin rashes and skin issues, neurological problems, respiratory problems, and allergies. Other than that, they're totally safe, right? I'm just kidding. Let's get to the causes, all the potential causes. Now, if you had a flooding in your house or some leak after a storm, and then the mold starts growing, you could be exposed that way. That's very common. Or it could come from the food that you're eating. Um, a lot of times you'll have higher levels of mold in corn, wheat, grains, soybean, beans, peanuts, cheese, wine, beer, coffee, and bread. And what's interesting, if you ever read the labels on some of these foods, is they have a little chemical in there. And if you look up the chemical, it releases formaldehyde, which is basically a mold killer. So they're putting mold killers in these foods. And another cause could be taking antibiotics. Do you ever notice why some people get yeast infections or candida after they take antibiotics? Well, they get this overgrowth of fungus and mold. Then we get to the glyphosate exposure. Now, what is glyphosate? That's the Roundup Ready, the chemical, the herbicide in GMO foods. If you think about it, the massive exposure of this chemical on the soil over a period of time is gonna to totally disrupt the flora or the friendly bacterial growth in the soil, which is gonna spike certain mold growths, specifically a type of microorganism called Fusarium, okay? Fusarium is a microbe that grows after you use glyphosate. So I believe that a lot of the mold exposure that we're getting is right there because it's in almost all the foods, especially if you're consuming all the GMO foods, which is hard to get away from. Corn, soy, canola, okay? So these are some of the things that could cause the mold, which then relates to joint pain and a lot of other symptoms. Now, what do you do about it? Well, there's four main things that I recommend. Number one, grapefruit seed oil is awesome. It's a great anti-mold, anti-fungus, and it's very, very uh, gentle on your own friendly bacteria. And the next one is garlic, which is the ultimate anti-microbe. And then we have bentonite clay, which actually gets rid of mycotoxins out of the body. And then the last one would be you need to avoid sugar because mold and fungus and yeast and candida live on sugar. You're going to have to go on the intermittent fasting and the ketogenic program that I've been talking about. So go ahead and apply this information and share what you think in the comments down below. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press this little button down below, okay? Thanks.